Shalom Akim, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakhon Kadash, double honors and salutations to the elders and apostles of Rip, you still do well. This brother now should DC camp again with another short uh, lesson. Because uh, so much going on on the face of the earth that you have to, uh, you know, pay attention. Otherwise, you're going to miss certain things. You know, you don't want to be left behind when it comes to certain prophecies. So you hear of, uh, you have here in Nigeria, man, <laughs> Jake, you know, finds that, uh, you know, these so-called government officials, they've already stashed away, you know, food uh, materials that are supposed to disperse to the population, you know, for uh, a relief since uh, the so-called, you know, COVID situation. And, uh, you know, folks don't have nothing, you know, no job. Folks don't have, uh, you know, reliable source of income. You know, folks living below below their means, on the bare, below the bare minimum. So just imagine when you have uh, chaos in the city, chaos in the country, and folks realize that, uh, you know, the food, the food warehouse has uh, items they're supposed to have already. And that uh, uh, <laughs> the so-called officials are playing games, so that's why the Lord the Abba Shimon Shah is bringing the wrath upon the the so-called shepherds of our people that are upon the face of the earth. All right, so uh, I'm going to uh, go to a quick uh, video, a you know, quick uh, precept. Well. That's uh, the word of the Lord. <laughs> Spiritual video. Alright. So this is going to be from the book of Ezekiel chapter 2. I'm going to read from verse uh, 8 to verse 10. So as it says. Um, in fact. You know. I'm just going to get straight to the point man. You know, because it's all about the rebuke of the Lord upon our people. And this is verse, let me start from verse 7. And thou shalt speak my words unto them, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are most rebellious. And that's the issue with Jake on the face of the earth. You know, our people have a, a tendency to rebel against the Most High. And the Lord is always going to rebel, you know, against them too. <laughs> you know, the Lord is going to respond accordingly. All right, so the Lord is going to judge our people horribly, you know, wherever they are. And uh, they're not hearkening unto the words of Hamashiach, Kiawashai. And that's what you're going to get. So just imagine when it's going to happen on American soil. It's going to be crazy. All right. So uh, verse 8 says, But thou, son of man, hear what I say unto thee. Be not thou rebellious like that rebellious house. Open thy mouth. And eat that I give thee. All right, and that's what it, the Lord is saying. You know, the men of the Lord have to be in compliance with His commandments and to stand fast and to stay. You know, stay, uh, stay the course all the way unto the end. And verse nine says, "And when I looked, behold, a hand was sent unto me, and lo, a roll of a book was therein." And he spread it before me, and it was written within and without. And there was written therein lamentations and mourning and woe. All right, and this is what the time of Jacob's trouble is going to entail lamentations and mourning and woe. So uh, it's just warming up in Nigeria. You know, Haiti is still going through theirs. All right, so just imagine. When it uh, becomes uh, seriously chaotic. Community of Maza Maza, Lagos State, on Thursday, October 22, and carted away some COVID 19 palliatives they found in the facility. The full stuff item they took at Lagos State government COVID 19 inscribed on it. Watch the videos. <laughs> So you 
called Chaos. <laughs> Chaos. right there man over there in Lagos Nigeria all right the former capital of uh, Nigeria but still the the commercial center so that's how evil you know how people are you know be behaving to others you know to their own people holding uh, all the supplies that the people need to be uh, having uh, access to you know this is basic nutrition this is food you know food and water and other things, but they hold they hoard it to themselves. That's why the most is going to judge our people harshly. All right, just like you know Ezekiel, you know, <laughs> you know, saw the <laughs> you know lamentations and mourning and woe. So just imagine when there's no more food for the people, it's going to be so messed up. So uh, you just have to understand, man. You know, Jake is suffering. You know, these are, you, tell it, you clearly tell these are Israelites, you know. So just imagine when it's going to be a serious famine and there is no transportation to bring the food from the farmland to the cities and all that. And they have uh, roadblocks and uh, everything, bridges been burnt and, you know, been bombed and destroyed and all that stuff. So folks are going to be under so much duress. You know, under so much, uh, you know, uh, so much pain and anguish. And that's the reason why the Lord Yahusha is on his way back. You know, that's why scripture talks about if those days were not short and no flesh shall be saved. So just imagine, man, this is just famine. All right. So what, you know, what else? You know, when is going to be a full, you know, full blown war? All right. So uh, another precept I'm going to get is going to be from the book of, uh, I use my other uh, device uh, from the book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 6. All right. It's, it's all, you know, simple things that, uh, you know, man of the Lord can always uh, comprehend. So it says, Shall the trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city, and the Lord had not done it? Yeah, so, it's, it's the Lord doing it. The verse 7 gives the answer. Surely the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahshai, by Hashem, Kakadash, will do nothing but to reveal it, his secret, unto his servants, the prophets. So, just imagine, man, when there's no more food in the, in the warehouses for the people to eat, and then the financial system collapses, and then they introduce the mark of the beast. <clears throat> How many people do you think is going to line up to receive the mark of the beast? It's going to be thousands and tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands of people, and the millions of people that have given up hope. They're going to fall in line, and then the Lord is going to judge them. So that's why it's really necessary. You, you know, we learn from uh, the situation of Jake around the world. So we don't fall into the same trap of uh, thinking about food to eat and shelter and everything because it's just a weakness, just like a a, a woman is a man's weakness, you know, a man of the world. All right. So can food be? All right. has been going on since 7 a.m. As I speak with you, Saucy say the warehouse has not gone off. Palliative that we're supposed to be giving to people during the COVID-19 period was hidden away Nigerians in, were in a warehouse and Nigerians were dying of hunger and starvation. Look at this man struggling to survive. Look at him. Something, something that is supposed to be brought to his, where, to his home. Look at it.
Yeah, so that's how the elite are, man. Not just the elites of, uh, of Jake over there in Nigeria, in, or in Africa, or in South America. Even the elites of this Edomites, they're the same way too. You know, they're going to make their own people suffer. So it's just uh, how the Lord, the Abba Shema Shai, has to orchestrate the downfall of uh, Esau's uh, political system, his uh, you know, uh, empire. It's just part of what we have to look forward to. So, um, you know, majority of the people there, you know, it's just, it's just going to be uh, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi in the south, you know. But up north, you don't really get much news <laughs> because the Hamites, <laughs> the Hamites are nervous, man, because you know how it is, man. They, they want to conquer the south, so they're going to send their agents, you know, to come, uh, you know, take up land. So it's uh, it's a contention, man. You know that's gonna lead to a race war. All right, we already have a a few uh, situations uh, taking place over there. So another scripture is gonna be from the book of Jeremiah, chapter ten, verse twenty-one. It says, uh, "For the pastors have become brutish, and have not sought the Lord; therefore they shall not prosper." And all their flock shall be scattered. All right. So whatsoever you know, these are so-called uh, you know Israelites over there in Nigeria that uh, want to do their own will and uh, keep on en engaging in uh, financial uh, upheavals and let me say corruption and oppression of their own people. The Lord is going to jack them up. You know, you see the so if you go online and just type in the. You know, the former governor of uh, Lagos State. See how folks are just, uh, you know, raining curses upon him, man. It's like the worst person on the face of the earth. <laughs> Even the devil <laughs> ain't got that much curses rained upon him. You know, Judah, Benjamin, Levi just raining curses, curses, curses upon him. His, his children, his wife, you know, burning down his property. You know, they were able to track him down in in, uh, uh, in France, <laughs> track his son down in London, you know, and give him the, some, uh, some lashing. So it's terrible, man. It's terrible what you're going to see in these last days. And that's the judgment that's coming for two-thirds of our people, you know, for the folks of our people that the Lord have considered rebellious. So that they're going to be judged by the wrath of uh how about Shem Yahushai? And uh, that's what it takes. You know, disobedience leads to, uh, you know, judgment. All right. So uh, when you read uh, Jeremiah chapter 30, verse uh, 11 to 14, it tells you, For I am with thee, said the Lord, to save thee, though I make a full end of all the nations whither I have scattered thee, yet will I not make a full end of thee. But I will correct thee in measure, and will not leave thee altogether unpunished. So that's what's going on over there in Nigeria. The Lord is judging Jake. All right, the Lord is judging Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. All right, that's what's going on. So uh, it's just what you call a. Uh, Tough love from the Lord. How about Shimei Oshai? About Shimei Kakadash. Verse twelve says, "For the for thus said the Lord, how thy bruise is incurable, and thy wound is grievous, and that's the reason why the Lord how Oshai is on his way back." All right. So it says, uh, "He's the physician." All right. He's the ultimate physician that can kill our people. He's the only one that can kill our people from all their disease and that. Uh, you know, sadness, all right? There is none to plead thy cause, that thou mayest be bound up, all right? That thou hast no healing medicines. So whatever philosophy our people always want to, you know, you know, think that uh, the one of the Lord is not good enough, they're always talking about democracy and uh, social this and social that forming councils and then you could have their have their grievances addressed 
Oh, that's not going to work. They have to return to the Lord Yahweh Hashem Shai. And then you have the, you know, the Akim, you know, in the Nigeria, GMS Nigeria the brothers, you know, is standing strong spiritually. So in due season, the Lord is going to, you know, bless them with more, uh, with more members to join the camp over there because it's really necessary that uh, the word of the Lord begins to take ground over there because the pastors of those so-called big churches are not really doing anything. They're just keeping the people in wonderland, all right? So that's why the Lord Shai has to raise up his elect. So Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 13 says, There is none to plead thy cause that thou mayest be bound up. Thou hast no healing medicines. All right. And then uh, verse 14 says, All thy lovers have forgotten thee, they seek thee not. For I have wounded thee with the wound of an enemy with the chastisement of a cruel one for the multitude of thy iniquity because thy sins were increased so you know how jk is over there in nigeria you know they're always into idolatry and uh you know materialism and then you know the lord Yabashim and Shai just have to whip them into shape all right the Navy has collected their own. The armies have put their truck, collected their own. Immigration, custom, last month. And the warehouse has not gone half. The warehouse has not gone half. The warehouse has not gone half. Palating for the poor. Stored away. This is October 20, 20. First, 2020, palliatives that were supposed to be shared in May were stored away. Some so just imagine when you have folks that are waiting on that unemployment check here in Babylon <laughs> and they haven't received nothing since they filed. So how how desperate do you think they're going to be? All right, so it's going to be crazy. So um, I'm going to get uh, another precept you know, I, I'm going to just read the definition of the word uh, palliative. So it says, a remedy that alleviates pain without curing. <laughs> yeah, and then it says, uh, moderating pain or sorrow by making it easier to bear. So all that, uh, you know, issue of unemployment and starvation can be taken care of you know, by giving folks food but when there is no more food to give what else? folks got to go farm the land and when they can't get supplies to farm the land or bring the food into the cities or into the towns that's it alright so it's going to be tough to survive in these last days that's why the Lord Yabashim Shai, you know is letting us know ahead of time that we need to uh, get ourselves ready to be, uh, you know, <laughs> to run into the stronghold. So this is Lamentations chapter 4, verse 4. It says, The tongue of the sucking child cleaveth to the roof of his mouth for thirst. The young children ask bread, and no man breaketh it unto them. So that's famine, just like it happened in the, it's in the siege of Jerusalem by the Romans in 70 AD. It's happening again. Just like, you know, Jake's, you know, in the east coast of Africa, <laughs> when the, you know, when there was famine over there, when, there's, when there was famine in, the, in, in Ireland, you know, almost about over a century ago. Hey, it's just, it's just the Lord, you know, bringing his judgment. And then he says in verse 5, They that did feed delicately are desolate in the streets. They that were brought up in scarlet embraced dung hills. So it's going to be a shitty situation very soon for Drake and all over the world. You know, because they're going to be brought down to a low estate. All right. And then verse 6 says, For the punishment of the iniquity of the daughter of my people is greater than the punishment of the sin of Sodom. So what the Lord did to the land of Sodom and Gomorrah 
uh, Adma, Zeboim, and the other ones is nothing compared to what the Lord has uh, has in store for our people. You know, to uh, chastise them. All right, and it says that was overthrown as in a moment, and no hands stayed on her. Then verse 7 says, Her Nazarites were purer than snow. They were whiter than milk. They were more ruddy in body than rubies. Their polishing was of sapphire. Their visage is blacker than the coal. They are not known in the streets. Their skin cleaver to their bones. It is withered. It has become like a stick. So, just imagine when there's no more uh, food in the warehouse and the government, the brothers are even and the government is dysfunctional, you know, to the <laughs> to the last man in the house. That's it. So it's gonna be uh, terrible. Expired. Look at how people are struggling. That's what uh, the wicked of our people did to Jake's over there in Nigeria. You know, they uh, they were rationing out that uh, huge supply of uh, food uh, of food materials that people are supposed to have without paying for it. You know, there's a video online that shows uh, how they gave like a you know a whole neighborhood <laughs> one bag. <laughs> A bag of rice or a bag of beans and some <laughs> just for that to share. Yeah, it's, it's terrible, man. You know, the like the whole uh, Marie, uh, Maria Antoinette <laughs> from France. The, you know the you know the wicked. You know the wicked of our people. They say let them eat cake. This is that same vibe, man. That same vibe of uh, of lack of uh, compassion. For the poor of our people, because the Lord has already said, you know, He that, uh, you know, withhold it come from the people, Him, you know, shall the people curse. All right. So that's just the point that I can, you know, don't be surprised when this this happens in America. You know, it's just a sign of the times. You know, it's just uh, pray that the Lord builds up your faith in these last days. All right. Shalom.